What is up everybody, Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day and today I'm gonna be answering the question of do you need a personal brand? I get this a lot so I'm gonna be going into explanation and depth on what a personal brand is and why a reputation may be better for you. Personal branding, you know, do you need a personal brand? So everybody has a brand whether you know it or not but amplifying that brand, you know, really show off your skill sets really takes you to a whole new level in your business world but do you need a personal brand no but some of my greatest relationships and business opportunities have came from my personal brand you know people noticing what i'm doing and then deciding to reach out i've made a lot of great friends i've met mentors i've made money with it you know through different ventures within uh different people that have reached out to me and you know it's overall been a great experience over the past year uh building my personal brand you know it's almost been a year uh last october when i first met hayden bowles he he sort of got me to build a YouTube channel and I started it and it ended up, I wouldn't say blowing up, but you know, we have a good audience right now and I really appreciate all of you for the support. But one thing that people don't really realize within a personal brand is, you know, the negative side of it. There's a lot of negatives, you know, pros and cons to everything, of course, but with the personal brand, you know, when you're growing it, you can either grow it the right way or the wrong way. And I would say I did it, you know, not the best way, but not in a really bad way at all. Um, you know, I started my channel, you know, providing value and helping people, but along the way, you know, I've done some minor things that I felt weren't the best for my channel and, you know, my brand overall. But, you know, things happen, we live and we learn. But as far as a personal brand goes, you know, everybody has a brand, whether you have a million followers or zero followers, everybody has a brand of themselves and what they do. You know, it's really just believing, you know, I do this specific thing. I do e-commerce, marketing, social media, whatever. Um, you know, you could do programming, construction, whatever it is. You know, everybody has their own brand. And when you start to amplify that, you know, you start to show off different things that you do. Your accomplishments, your goals, you know, the journey, the process of everything. But really what I've realized within, you know, myself and just other entrepreneurs that have built a personal brand over the past year, whatever, is really just, especially here in the business uh, niche of things, is just more showing off accomplishments than the actual journey. And that's something I know even myself I've fallen into is that, you know, most of the time we would rather show off things we've done instead of actually showing the process because we feel that it's somewhat boring for people to see the process. You know, I make business videos. I give you guys uh, tutorials and different demonstrations of how to make money online, but you know, People don't really like it that much when I tend to show off something that I've achieved, like buying a car, whatever it is. Uh, but when it comes down to it, the thing with social media is that there's a specific perception that you put out there of yourself when you're posting specific images or videos, whatever, if it's travel. Um, you know, most of you guys think I live this crazy life, I'm traveling all the time, but what you don't really see is just I'm here, uh, working here at the warehouse, you know, basically every day when I'm not traveling just because, you know, to be able to travel and do cool things, you have to put a lot of work in. And for me, that work is sitting here on my computer, running e-com stores, doing different business ventures in order to make money and continue to grow myself and build my businesses. And with that going on continuously, that doesn't always lead to a clear vision of people seeing my daily life. You know, I can't post on Instagram every day because then it'll be boring. You know, I'm just sitting here doing work all day, every day instead of, you know, traveling all the time. You know, in the future, I hope to be traveling more. I hope to live somewhere else and do some more exciting things to share with you guys. But one thing is that I've noticed, you know, most successful people around the world in general, whether they're millionaires or billionaires, they don't really have a strong personal brand. But what they do have is a reputation. So those are two completely different things. You know, building a brand is something where you're putting yourself out there and amplifying your skill sets for people to understand who you are and what you do. But a reputation is something that's built up over a lot more time where, you know, people really understand who you are and your integrity of what you do. You know, if you're a businessman and you've built these multi-million dollar companies, you've helped out a lot of people within those companies, instead of just trying to make money by yourself, you know, you're actually doing something for others, which you've gained respect from others, which is your reputation. You know, you may not have a million people that know who you are, but you have, you know, a thousand people that know who you are and they trust you and they will help you to build your businesses. So one of my good friends, Brett Byrne, I met him at the same time I met Hayden uh, last year in October. And one thing about him, smart guy, does some different business stuff. Um, and he does not believe in personal brands. You know, he's networked and has mentors that are very successful business owners and you know, they have 50 followers on Instagram, 100 followers, whatever it is. 
But Brett, you know, he doesn't care about the followers. He used to try and build his Instagram with followers and, you know, getting engagement on his posts. But now he, like, blocked a bunch of people off of his page just because he only wants his close friends to follow his Instagram and sort of follow his journey. You know, he doesn't care as much about, you know, showing, all right, look, I started this drink company and now we're selling 10 units a day. Now we're selling 100 units a day. You know, he doesn't care about showing that stuff off. He cares about himself and what he's doing within his own businesses. And, you know, in the long run, that'll lead to a lot of great connections. Of course, some bad connections along the way not everybody's a great person but you know from that on you really just have a network of close people within personal branding there's a lot of snakes um, I've met a lot of cool people but at the same time I've met a lot of people that are um, let's just say not great people you know they try to take from you more than provide for you or you know help you exchange value they just want to utilize that you're with them or utilize your skill sets in order to help them as a person and grow their own brand or whatever they're trying to do. So you really just have to be careful with that kind of stuff. But I want to FaceTime Brett and show you guys who he is and sort of what he does and his opinion on personal branding. And if you need it, um, I would say, no, you do not need a personal brand. Everybody can achieve a level of success within business as long as you're continuously working and aiming towards specific goals. Yo. What up? So I just filmed a video like on personal branding versus reputation. You know, a lot of successful business owners have more of a reputation than an actual personal brand because, you know, that's what leads to more business and, you know, etc. But I want to know your opinion. I told them a little bit about you and what you do and your views on personal branding, but I want you to give a more, you know, more explanation on. It. A lot of people believe they need a personal brand to make money. Okay, so I guess I know Tanner gave you a quick rundown on what I do. Uh, so I have my marketing service, my, my uh, you know, my agency. Um, so I pretty much specialize in like email marketing and stuff like that. Uh, I do some SEO projects on the side. So that's one of my projects. Um, I also am a part owner of a dating service, which uh, not sure if Tanner told you, but we just got the first investor in Ring Doorbell. Uh, that sold to Amazon for over a billion dollars as a partner and investor in our company. Um, and him and I are actually starting up a consulting company right now. Um, and we're looking to get some big uh, investors and celebrities involved. So, you know, pretty much to give a quick rundown on the personal brand versus reputation side of things, um, you know, of course, the personal brand isn't necessary. I have some great friends, great mentors, great business partners that are very successful, that have absolutely no personal brand whatsoever. Um, but then again, there's people like Hayden and Tanner and you know, the list goes on and on that have great personal brands. And uh, if it actually weren't for you know social media, I would have never met Tanner and Hayden and all these other kids. So I, you know, quick rundown on pretty much my story uh i was starting up on youtube um you know i used to fall into the personal branding is necessary in order to succeed uh so i quickly started up on youtube i saw the courses and i was like okay this is what i want to do i want to follow these you know these steps to become like these other people um you know i started using instagram growth software services and hashtags and you know all the typical stuff um and then after some time, I realized, like, I was like, I'm, I'm actually kind of miserable doing this. I was never a fan of it. Um, uh, so recently, I pretty much went private on everything, deleted thousands and blocked thousands of followers. Um, and pretty much I'm keeping things more personal and private. So, um, you know, and there's there's pros and cons to both. Um you know, the pros, like I said, I, I met Tanner and a bunch of other wonderful people uh, and networked with them with social media, with my personal brand. Uh, but then the cons were, you know, some insecurity things. I, I didn't like having a public profile, people always looking at what I'm posting and judging me based off what pictures and, you know, having to always look all fancy and stuff. So, um, you know, that's pretty much my reason why I decided to stop the personal brand side of things. And truthfully, it hasn't affected me at all whatsoever in business. I, uh, you know, like I said, I'm still forming these great relationships, building my network, great partnerships, and uh, things are going great. Yeah, so really just care more about like focusing 
on yourself and business growth more than you know putting yourself out there for others to see your skill sets like you talked about the the doorbell ring guy like they sold their company for a billion dollars and how many followers does he have on instagram like a hundred or something uh like 500 and he posts pictures of whatever he wants pictures of his dog of him you know catching fish yeah there's so many people i know that are successful that have 100 followers or 60 followers and you know 100 followers and 5,000 following like yeah you know so it's so air for a follower following ratio what they're posting it's of you course, know, and I like that lifestyle. You get to you get to really enjoy the freedom and and post what you truly want to post about what you're passionate yeah, it's, about. Yeah, it's more than just like posting the highs where you you hope to please someone. All right, here's a pic with a Ferrari. Hopefully, someone likes it. You know, it's more of just you know being more personable about everything and you know really just focusing on what's more important. Um, at least more important to whoever you know if you want to build a personal brand go for it if you want to you know just build your reputation more to build more long-term business go for it you know either way of things i feel like it could be success um i would say personal opinion but you don't need a personal brand to be successful build your reputation then that'll lead to a long-term success i agree and uh you know, just remember, personal brand's not for everyone. I thought oh, it yeah. was for me. I gave it a shot, and I would recommend giving it a try. You know, see if it's meant for you, because, of course, uh, if you do have a personal brand, it only helps. If you, you know, you get to network with more, uh, you know, like-minded people, you get to connect with, you know, uh, more popular celebrities, verification badges, it, it does help, but... Uh, some people just aren't meant for it. They, yeah. they like having the private life and the personal life. So, But I would recommend giving it a shot. Try YouTube. Try Instagram. Try growth services. Try hashtags. DM people. Give it a shot. And if it's not for you, you know. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Shot. Yeah. Never do something that you don't. Like, don't do something you don't enjoy doing. Like Brett said, he did. He just realized, you know, he didn't really like it. It didn't make him, like, happy. Um, so, you know, more focus on what you enjoy and the more you enjoy you know that'll lead to more success it just takes time but uh appreciate it brett for your overview uh, make sure you guys go follow me on instagram i'll put it in the description below <laughs> well actually it's private never mind. <laughs> no personal brand i mean it depends if they want to follow me they're more than welcome uh, you know i'll accept if i think it's a right fit. <laughs> all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video about personal branding versus reputation if you did make sure to leave a like Comment and subscribe. Peace.